Hey guys, just a quick tutorial on how to do multiple version setups for Phoenix um, RC version 3. Um, as you may or may, may have not worked out, you, when you're doing multiplayer, you can't seem to get into different versions. Even if you're on the highest version, you can't go to lower. And if you're on a lower version than someone else, you can't get into the session and can't fly. So I thought, well, how, what? that's just ridiculous. Uh, anyway, so. I've worked out a solution, so it's, as long as you've got plenty of disk space, you should be right, and you should be able to duplicate this method for any version you want. Okay, so just go to phoenix-v3.com and scroll down to downloads. Okay, scroll down a little bit here to any version to 3.0 update. Download that. Once you've downloaded that, to your desktop or wherever you want. I've got it here. Phoenix RC any 3M update this one was. The latest one may be S even, who knows. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, okay, so what you do is currently this is running S. So what we want to do is say select a, a version M and then you can upgrade from M by version by version until you get as many versions as you want. But it does take up a bit of disk space, so if you've got plenty of room, great. Um, but this is the way I did it. Okay, so what you need to do is open up Explorer and go into your program C program files, which is your default location for Phoenix. Okay, so Phoenix RC. So right click and copy that. And then go to another drive. I've actually changed location to D program files because it was taking too long on C because it's transferring from the same drive to the same drive. So if you've got another drive, it's a lot faster. Okay, we're nearly done now. Okay, complete. Right, so we've got this file in D drive, program files, Phoenix RC, and that's an exact copy of the other one. I've got an emulator that I use for um, for running mine because I've got a a um, Turnigy 9x transmitter. You can use other many other transmitters if you use the emulator. Okay, so now we'll get back to business. Right, what we need to do is we need to install this Phoenix RC any 3m update.exe. Okay. Now it'll sit there thinking for quite a while while it's um, running its. Uh, it's basically copying all the files to the temp file. Phoenix RC is quite interesting because it sets up a file in my documents called Phoenix RC, and that's where. All your model, special model saves, you know, you might change the size or colors or the gyro or whatever you, features you change. Um, and it creates this file in my documents called Phoenix RC, and it's got all the whole lot of setup files in there. Um, and that's where all that information is stored because I looked through the directory and I couldn't find the settings, and I thought, this is weird. Um, and I actually found it out when I was doing this update and I was reading the information of the files it was trying to overwrite. And then it said it wanted to clear um, my documents slash Phoenix RC. I thought, oh, what's that? So, um, yeah, this is what I found. And um, and there was, the, was all that stuff. Okay, so just go next. And then next again. And we need to change this because we're already, got, we're already running um, version S on the C drive. So I'll just change that. Um, you can browse. Oh, you basically, just just go change it to D D drive program files. Um, and just before you do that, check to make sure that you have got the the right one. So just scroll through to um, program files, and you created a file called. Phoenix MRC. So what I want to do is right-click here and copy address, 
and we'll paste that address in here. Control V. Okay, so we'll go OK. Which has that Phoenix RC in it. Okay. So now this is what I found was interesting. Was the four files were in there. So we'll go next. Well, I don't know what's happened there, but anyway, we'll oh, okay, Phoenix M RC, yeah, okay, next. And it's ready to install. Before it came up with the four folders that it was going to overwrite, and now I wrote those folders down, but I've forgotten where I put it. So, but yeah, it might be a good idea to write those folders down because it might be just as easy as changing those files and those four folders in and out. Um, I may be doing it the long way, but I've never found any information on it, so that's why I'm doing this tutorial. All right, and this literally does take several minutes. Um, it just sits there gurgling away trying to work out what it's trying to do. So um, I'll just pause this for a moment until we've got a bit of progress to show you. Okay, it's now copying the files. Okay, it's removing the backup files now. Set the agreement for DirectX. Next. Yeah, it'll just update as necessary. It's going to check to see if it's all uh, good. I don't worry about the uh, Adobe because I've already got that. Okay, finish for that. Right, so the installation wizard's complete. And go finish. So now what we want to do is... Um, create a desktop icon, what well, I like to anyway, so that I can run a different version. So what we'll do is we'll go to, uh, we'll navigate back so that you can see that. I'm, okay, go to D drive, program files, and then you want to go down to your um, Phoenix M file, Phoenix RC, and I've got my launcher here, which is my one here. Make a little icon here. Okay, so I open that. And I can't drag this down as I can. Here we go. And it's got Phoenix RC version 3M. Go to this is basically going through the basic setup again. And it'll ask you for an update. Now you don't want to do that <laughs> because um, you know you've already You've already been there. So thanks for installing and it's just going through the basic setup. Set up a new transmitter. I cancel that. Set your resolution. Your um, metric if you want imperial if you were if you're that way inclined. Go finished. Okay, a newer version is detected. Untick that box and go no for the install because you want to keep the M. Variants must be deleted. Now this is how I found out that it was in my documents. Um, existing variants, uh, my docs, Phoenix RC slash variants date folder. Um, I deleted, or I, 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 that's where I went into the file and found all that stuff. So yeah, have a look in there and see what you can find. And you'll find you've got all your model and um, controller configurations that you've made with your current version. I'd save, save a copy of that somewhere. Um, I've got no controller set up, so but that's okay. Um, so I just need to go to System, Your Controls, and I'll just select the custom one. See, so it's already automatically found the files that was in um, my comp in, in my Docs Phoenix RC folder. And that's it. We're away. Okay, so that's that version done, and then you can just create as many as you want, I guess. Um, I want to do it and actually create version, um, the latest version, which I'm going to do right now, actually, the, to the latest version 4. So just stand by while I navigate and copy this S version again over to another folder called 4.0, and we'll see if we can get that to work. 
So again, navigate to C drive, program folders, go down to your Phoenix RC and copy that. And then go back. I, I would like to put it on my second drive because it's faster to transfer. Go to program files. And you've already got Phoenix M in there, so you want to create another folder. New folder. And we'll call it um, Phoenix 4, 4 bar O, which is the latest version. So I'll stick that in there, copy all those files across. What we want to do now is go into the website. I remember seeing this. And we need to download the 4.0. If I can type correctly. Spell it right, guys. All right, we'll go to the Phoenix Sim site. Downloads. And we'll go to version 3S to 4D beta down update. So we'll download that. And that's uh, 85 meg, so that may take a little while. While that's downloading, we'll go to the 4.0 folder that we've created and run usually you run your um phoenix rc shortcut this one here um but i'm i've got my launcher here because i'm not using a um so we'll create a shortcut here and call that phoenix rc dash 4 dash o Okay, and I'll just change the icon on that as well. Change icon. There it is, right there. Gotcha. change this over here so you can see it gone okay we're nearly there okay once it's downloaded it'll try and auto run it'll come up with a security warning um, we know we've wanted to download this so we'll go run Okay, it's going to prepare to install 4.0D beta. Welcome to 4.0. Okay, next. I haven't done this before, so I'll be just rolling with it. Okay, next, change your directory because we've already changed that. Now, just navigate to the directory you've created, D and D drive. Phoenix 4.0 and into the main Phoenix RC folder and then right click on your if you're running this through that just copy the address and we want to just paste that in here okay so we've got uh, d slash program files slash Phoenix dash 4.0 RC which is what I've got set up so I go OK and we'll see what happens yep next if it actually didn't find it it would come up with a fault um, saying it can't find the, the executable file and go install update that um, and we'll try and launch it uh, no we won't go finish 
because I'm running the emulator. So if you've got normal the normal one, you can just run it like that. I'm just going to run this and see what happens. Yep, it's come up with a 4.0 D beta. Phoenix RC4. So they're still testing this. Um, so, yeah. So you've, got all, you've still got all your same controls and because it's all got that from the common file, and I'll show you where that is, alright? Just close this down, close your emulator. So um, what you need to do is open up my computer and go documents and Phoenix RC. See, and in here you've got um, settings, mapping profiles, and this is where you've got all your there's all my configurations that you saw in the thing there, and there's also this area in here where you did where the models are, which I think is called variants. It's got the latest dates. So we'll go through and see if there's anything in here. Yep, see all the all the ones that I've got copies of and and um, modified of my helicopters. Um, that's got those in there. Okay, and the same with you. If you ever do the modification of any of your helis or planes or gliders or watercraft, um, you can do that. So cool. Uh, but I'm just let's just um, quit while we're ahead, and I'm just going to have a bit of an explore on 4.0 and see how I go. All right. Well, thanks for watching.